Hello and welcome back to the program. We bring you some breaking news now. And Haiti's President Jovenel Moïse has been assassinated at his home in Port-au-Prince. The interim Prime Minister Claude Joseph says he's now in charge of the country and has urged the public to remain calm. Mr Moïse's injured wife is also in hospital, he says. President Moïse had been ruling Haiti, the poorest country in the Americas, by decree after legislative elections due in 2018 were delayed in the wake of disputes, including on when his own term ends. In addition to the political crisis, kidnappings for ransom have surged in recent months, further reflecting the growing influence of armed gangs in the Caribbean nation. Jacqueline Charles, the Haiti and Caribbean correspondent for the Miami Herald, gave me the very latest. This is a developing story. What we know from the Prime Minister's office is that unknown assailants entered the president's private residence earlier this morning at around 1 a.m. It's time that they've told us. I've been told that it happened earlier. Um, but they shot the president. He was mortally wounded. Uh, my sources have confirmed that he is, in fact, dead. And his wife was shot in the arm. She's currently getting medical care. That's the only thing that we know about her. Um, we don't really have an idea on how serious her injuries are or who these individuals were. What the prime minister's office has told us is that they spoke Spanish. Um, I also know that they were also individuals who spoke English. They claim to be part of a U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration um, operation. That is not true. And in fact, a high-ranking official in the Haitian government said that these were mercenaries. Now, who paid for them, where they came from, how they got in the country undetected, these are questions that we are all trying to get to the bottom of. Yeah. Um, and Jacqueline, tell us a little bit about uh, Claude Joseph, the, the prime minister. Is he now stepping in? Well, this is the problem. There is constitutionally no answer for what's happening right now. This is a president who had just a few more months left on his term. Claude Joseph has not been ratified by parliament. He is an acting interim prime minister who technically is a resigned prime minister because just this week, President Jovenel Moise named a new prime minister that he was supposed to swear in in the next couple of days. So Haiti is in between governments both of which are de facto. There are people who are going to say that even the naming of either of these guys was not legal because there's an argument among some constitutional experts in opposition that President Jovenel Moise's presidential term ended on February 7th of this year. Now, Moise himself has argued otherwise. But just to also give you just the more chaos, I mean, even the president of the Supreme Court, we don't have one. He died last week of COVID-19. So, you know, there are versions in the Constitution that says if the president is not there, if he leaves or he dies, you tap the president of the Supreme Court or you tap the oldest member of the Supreme Court. Well, that gentleman is now heading up a transition shadow government that was named by the opposition earlier this year. So legally, constitutionally, you know, who's in charge? There is not an answer. How long is Claude Joseph going to be able to hold the wheel steady in this country that is very volatile, that is already undergoing multi-prone crisis? Crisis, we just don't know. Indeed. And I just want to briefly pick up on that point that you've talked about with Haiti being uh, in this volatile state. It's already de dealing with a humanitarian crisis uh, and, and, and now a political one. Exactly. In armed gangs, um, you, you've had um, 16,000 Haitians at least who've been forced out of their homes from poor working class neighborhoods in Port-au-Prince. The southern region of the country has been completely cut off. We just dodged a bullet with tropical storm slash hurricane Elsa. Had it hit the country, you would not have been able to provide humanitarian aid to the people in the southern region because, you know, the area, the entrance, the southern entrance of Port-au-Prince has been a no-go zone. Uh, just this week, a nurse was killed, shot in the head when she was sitting in an ambulance when they were trying to, to, to get assistance. So there's a lot that's facing Haiti. And at the same time, the United States and others in the international community have been pressing for Jovenel Moïse to hold elections. The parliament terms have been way overdue. He himself was ruling by decree since January 20 of, 20 of last year. That was Jacqueline Charles reporting there.